Welcome, welcome to new funnel of visualizations in Looker Studio. Before we dive in, just a minute about who I am. I'm Venetia Mystery. I'm an instructor at measurementmarketing.io. I became a measurement marketer in 2022. As an instructor, I work with our dedicated measurement management clients. I'm actively supporting and answering client member questions. I love a good puzzle to solve, especially when it's in BigQuery and Lowe's Canvas or Looker Studio. So hit me up if you got one. Alrighty. As with any one of our trainings or workshops, you want to remember one thing, grasp one thing today, ride the bike, come back, watch it again, grasp another one thing. Alrighty, let's dive into new funnel visualizations in Looker Studio. Let's dive in. Alrighty, before we start, just to kind of show you what we're talking about is um, Google just released this. These are brand new in Looker Studio. They're called funnel charts, okay? And the way they look is, you know, basically you can visualize the kind of events and being like, you know, here's how many sessions or users did this event, and then here's how many sessions or users did this event, and this one, and this one. So you can kind of show the percentage of people moving through a funnel. This is very useful and something we do use a lot, right? I'm going to show you one of our flagship ones we always show. So here's the one we show a lot, which is for our Academy page, it's kind of putting us on at the screen, is we show our IOJ, which shows you, well, here's how many users saw the page, right? Uh, here's how many people stayed for 10 seconds. Here's how many people stayed for 45 seconds and scrolled to 50%. Here's how many people, you know, viewed the offer copy for five seconds. And here's how many people clicked. And, you know, we talk about how to build this and I'll include the workshop on IOJ in the description. But, you know, in Looker Studio, this is what we're trying to visualize. Now, in the past, I'm going to pull this away. What we did use to visualize these coming into our Looker Studio report is uh, if you come under community visualizations, there was this metric funnel by Power My Analytics. Super useful and worked well um, and definitely was something that we all dive into. However, now our friends at Looker, busy as they are, putting new functionality in first. If you click on add to chart and scroll down, you see that table scorecard, you see this. They have funnels and they have three different funnels. Here. Now, we have a couple of funnels built for you for going to show you the functionality. So this is how it looks right here. And to get it, I'm actually just going to build another one right here and click on this. So you're just going to click on this and you just paste it anywhere on your screen. And when it comes up, it's going to, hmm, well, that's interesting. Let's delete that and try that again. <laughs> Come back in here and let's try it again. Sometimes we get that error and if we need to, we'll, we'll play around with it to get it to work. Okay, so it could be because the dimension's off. So if you got this, I just noticed this. So it will randomly pick a dimension. Um, so, you know, one dimension we use and you may already catch on here is event name. We like the dimension event name. And why do we like that? Well, what it's doing here is it's basically visualizing the number of sessions that had the add to cart event and the number of sessions that have the purchase event. So as you can see like this, there's six sessions there and four sessions there, right? So we, you know, get that nice visualization of, you know, events, you know, this many events and then this many events for this specific event, right? And then we could see kind of the difference of like, you know, you know, you had six hair and four hair. So like 66 percent of people who did this did that, right? So that kind of gives you that visualization and can help guide your measurement just like we did here, right? I'm going to bring this back, right? And show you guys this just like we did here. You can see that, you know, we're also, you know, we have goals here. We're aiming for 88 to 93 percent of people who land on the page to save for 10 seconds. If we start seeing this veer off into 80 percent or, you know, 70, which we have, you know, once I think once or twice, we look, like, okay, why are they not staying? Is the headline not hitting? Actually, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's the goal of getting these percentages. Okay. Um, now what we did to configure this, I'm going to show you this one is you really have to think through your dimensions and metrics. Your dimensions is a what, what do you want to visualize on each step? And you can pick one dimension event name happens to be one that's commonly used. And then the metric is how many, what metric, how many do you want to report? Now you could totally use total users here too. Let's flip it. You could use total users here too. Just note sessions and users can be different depending on your site and your setup. Okay. Um, and here we replicated our IOJ funnel, right? As you can see, event name and sessions. Now, how do you limit it? If you notice when I did event name and I'm going to flip this to sessions just to kind of show you similarities here. Uh, I'm just scrolling down to find the metric sessions. It really didn't want to show up there. Okay. So you see this one gave me, I'm going to scroll down. Let's see all the events, but this one I was able to hear. How do we do that? So click on here and go down. So you have dimensions, you have your metrics, right? You have your what and your how much filters. Okay. So, you know, we're not going to dive into the nitty gritty of filters in Looker Studio, but what you're doing here is you're creating a filter and saying, well, the event name, you know, I use regex. You could do other ways, but we just use regex and said add to cart, or this is the or symbol or purchase, right? And I'll, I'll you know, give you a tip on how you can get a free guide on regex at the end of this workshop. 
but that's the way we did it here. We're saying one or two, you know, those two events. So that's how we did it there. Okay. And that narrowed us down to two events. And then you can get a little fancy if you come into style and you can add a title. See, this is most likely going to be turned off. You just need to turn it on and put a title in here and you can change the size and bold it or size it however fancy you want to get, right? And then you have a couple choices. So first there's a choice of the type of funnel. So there's smoothed bars, there's stepped and inverted triangle. You know, we like that and it's kind of nice. Now do note as you change the size of this, you will see, see it just hopped on there. So that's just something you'd be cautious of when you are building. Um, and you can decide what you want. You want percentage for the data labors? Do you want numbers? You know, is a number useful? We don't find the number very useful. I'll be honest. It's, you know, sometimes like, oh, okay, I got to do the math now versus we like the percentage because it kind of takes math away. And then, you know, knowing us, just like we did here, having goals, you know, we have goals here, a forecast, we would do the same there, have a forecast, right? Sort of thing. And then you can change the size. I personally am not a fan of how small this is. So what I did is I bumped it up. It was set at automatic, bumped it up to like, you can bump it up as big as you want. 24 is a little big. I think 16 is where I kind of hang out, right? And then you can play with colors however you want. You know, you could do a single color. You can do dimension colors, bar colors, and get fancy however you want, okay? And um, then there's other things like background and stuff. But those are the funnel, new funnel charts in Looker Studio, and you can build the IOJ as well. So just like we have here, if you look at this IOJ right here, here we have this, here we have this, okay? How do we do this? So I'm actually going to come into setup and similar dimensions. The key is the filters with these funnel explorations, right? These filters, these funnel visualizations is setting the filter of first, what events? So in this one, we were able to use contains, right? Our event has to contain IOJ. And as you can see, all of ours do. And our page has to be the Academy page, right? So we have our Academy page right here and we can visualize that and show that. Now you can have more steps, you know, this is not limited to five. So if I had, you know, 10 IOJs, it would show me all 10 steps, which is super useful. Now, there is one other final thing we have to remember is as we are using funnels in Looker Street, we might be thinking that these funnels are similar to, I'm gonna click on it here, this one, these funnels in explorations, okay? where you can come in here and you can lay out a set of steps. See, I laid out, you know, first step has to be at the cart and second step has to be purchased and they have to be followed by each other and they have to be within the same session, right? Um, these are very different. This funnel explorations in GA4 is saying of the 12 that added to cart, nine purchased. That is not the funnel visualizations in Looker Studio will tell you. They are reporting the number of events that happened for that event, regardless if they took the first step. So this is just reporting for purchases, regardless if they added to cart. That is the key, no key to notice. It is still a useful truth and something that you can very much optimize on, on, on. But just be careful and just be aware of that difference between the final explorations in GA4 and the final visualizations in Looker Studio. Alrighty, there you have it. That was funnel visualizations in Looker Studio. Definitely something new from Google and something we very much are going to be using in our dashboards. Now, what was your one thing? Was it that you have funnel visualizations now and you can dive in and add them to your dashboard? Or was it that you just need to be aware that funnel visualizations in Looker Studio are not the same as funnel explorations in GA4? Whatever it is, go practice that, learn about that one thing, and then circle back and grab another one thing. Now, as always, we need to remember our measurement marketing framework that helps us go from marketing in the blind to marketing where you can rely with revenue and profit. It is important to remember that when it comes to dashboarding, that is what we are you know, building in our build phase. And then we're using our dashboards to listen, forecast and optimize. Now, I did mention that you maybe want to get access to some free tools. Like I showed some regex here and there, not going to dive into the details of regex today. Um, but if you want to go get a free tool that kind of help you with regex, um, or, you know, learn about our other workshops, uh, you can do that and you can join our toolbox for free or learn about joining the Academy, which is our flagship product, which will give you access to instructors like myself and Judy Brade, where you can ask us questions live. So to learn about the toolbox and about the Academy, go to measure.tips slash get Academy. So there you have it. That is new funnel visualizations in Looker Studio.